You're tuned into the BSX Digital Sports Network. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. J.P. That's right, guys. Jay Peter Ticket, Vegas Scoreboard Express, back live from the BSX Digital Studios here in Las Vegas. Rounding out this week three in the preseason of the NFL, getting ready to start up on September 8th. Watch the opening day game on Fubo TV. Go to VegasScoreboardExpress.com, click that live TV link, and get yourself seven days free and 15% off, or you can go directly to FuboTV.com slash JB and get that same deal. So bringing them back on the line with me, my main guys, Ron, third down, best bets. Follow him on Instagram at RaiderHawk1 and my man Linwood, Hard Rock Hamilton, defender of the youth. Follow him on Instagram at Linwood.Hamilton. So, guys, we're talking about this NFL. Week 3 saw a lot of losers from teams that are usually winners. Let's talk about this team down in Tampa Bay. Want to give a shout-out to my main man down in Tampa Bay. Scotty beam him up, Webb. From the East Coast Sports Investors, Scotty, got to have you back on the show. I know you're doing big things with my guy Jeff Dawson up there in New England. We haven't forgotten about you. And again, thank you for all the contributions that you bring to VSX and have brought in the past. But Tampa Bay, your team, rotation number 129. We're losers on the road in Indianapolis. That team looks tough. 10 to 27, rotation number 130. The Indianapolis Colts were able to beat Tampa Bay. But Tampa Bay had some off-field issues with a guy that you normally don't hear hear a lot about having off-field issues in Tom Brady. But in his preseason debut, took a couple passes, hit a couple passes, always looked like himself. Didn't forget what down it was, thank God, this time. But again, like I said before, Tampa Bay. This is a team that lost a huge part of their success in that 2020 campaign. Ali Marpet retired. A lot of other guys off of that offensive line. They've got these guys, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, at 11 and a half wins. I mean, that's a little bit scary for me. A little bit scary. They want you to break the bank and bet a ton of money on this particular team. I don't know if 12 wins is in it this year. You may make a little money trying to bet that under or teasing it under a little bit. So, Ron, I'll go ahead and jump over to you. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tom Brady. I'm calling it. This is his last season. I mean, if he plays until he's like 50, 60 years old, they're going to have to put this guy on one of those injury cards out there, man. There is no way in the world that this guy is going to keep playing forever. But with that being said, not very good backups in the wings. They've got good receivers, Mike Evans, different guys in that core group. But Tom Brady, first time we've ever seen him really have these off-field issues, got family issues. We know Giselle is all up his butt about these kids. He's supposed to be home with us and you're not here with the kids. And, you know, he's supposed to retire last year. He unretired, he came back. Do you think that's going to affect this team a little bit because players kind of unsure, well, I don't want to hitch my boat to Tom Brady. This could be his last year. So would that maybe elevate these guys to play a little bit harder or oh 11 and a half wins let's just tank get a check and then hopefully we get a new quarterback in the draft because i got to look at some of these college quarterbacks coming up again check out vsx got that college preview coming up in the next couple of weeks week zero some upsets and really watch it but the tampa bay buccaneers a little bit worried about them they relying on tom brady almost a 50 year old guy at quarterback greatest ever do it but ron 11 and a half wins this is a betting show would you put your money on it no i wouldn't i have them at 10 and a half wins if they are fortunate and get the right personnel with him, he's got one more run in him. I think that's the attitude they're going to take. I think the young kids are going to want to win one more with him because when he leaves, they're going to have to go into rebuild mode. They do have some good pieces, but there's no quarterback in the wing. There's 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 nothing there. I, I think we're going to see an all-out effort from them this year. One last run, and I don't think they'll win at all, but I do see ten and a half wins. 10 and a half, ain't 11 and a half, move it on. I'm telling you, stay off of that bet. A team that I do like who has a very dynamic rookie, and he was able to get it done this past weekend. I'm talking about the boys down in Music City. The Tennessee Titans, rotation number 128, beating the Arizona Cardinals at home, rotation number 127, 26 to 23. Malik Willis, this is the guy that I've been telling people. Doesn't matter he plays at Liberty. He throws the ball on the dime. He's a bigger version of Michael Vick. When he took off, I was like, hello, this kid 
is Christmas for this team. You're talking about a team right now in the Tennessee Titans who have Ryan Tannehill, another aging quarterback, who thought about the future, and they picked up a Madden 400 player in this kid, in Malik Willis. I mean, you're talking about a guy right now leading teams to wins. He may get some playing time this year on a couple of Wildcat plays or something like that. Let's hope they don't waste him and get him hurt. But what I saw was a quarterback with poise in the pocket, making the right decisions, and God forbid you crowd him, the kid took off faster than Vic did back in the day. Go ahead, Ron. I was just as impressed, JB. He looked really good. I think uh, Mr. Tannehill is going to be moving out of town after the season. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're talking about Ryan Tannehill, a kid who was the most improved player back in 2020 in that season, comeback player of the year, something like that. But now he's got a guy breathing down his neck in Malik Willis. And I'm talking about a kid who was taken in the third round. In my opinion, he was a first-round talent. But he got in at the right spot because when sometimes you're that first-round talent and you get a lot of pressure put upon you and you're known to be that guy bubbling under next but you gotta you know come in and perform right away I think with him being a third rounder getting a few touches this year putting themselves in a position to win a few games to make it to the playoffs getting around that environment I think he competes for that starting job next year and when you're talking about a team right now at nine and a half wins I can get with that okay nine and a half wins is a good total for the Tennessee Titans from a defensive side of the ball Linwood I know you're still there the teams that usually are winners Linwood and you know this are teams that have great defenses but the Tennessee Titans over the last couple of years have had a few holes in their defense, haven't been as dominant as we have liked to see, and that's why they haven't had that end success in the playoffs, being able to make it to the Super Bowl. Do you think that the Tennessee Titans this year are going to be a little bit better on the defensive side of the ball, Linwood? Because when you talk about the players that they have on the roster, Zach Cunningham, inside linebacker, Harold Landry, another linebacker, they're a linebacker-heavy team. What did you see this particular preseason? Like what? Go ahead. They're going to be best. I'm going to tell you this. You can have the best offense in the world, but if you don't have a good defense and great DBs, okay, you ain't going to win. You know, I mean, you, you can have a great offense. If the defense stays on the field and your defense sucks, you're not going to win anything. You got to have a dog D, gang green D. You got to have a D that their offense depends on you to win the game. This is the way we were always coached. You got to be aggressive. And these guys, I'm going to tell you, they got it. That I defense like it. is all good. I mean, Kevin Byard, he's a heat-seeking missile. If you throw it near him, he can possibly get you a pick six. You got Amani Hooker right now as the starter. Left cornerback, Caleb Farley. You got a lot of guys that I think they're yeah, the very competitive. The DBs are the question mark, though. That's what I'm saying. These these guys are young. They're going to have to prove themselves. But with that strong linebacking core, Zach Cunningham leading that in the right inside linebacker. You got Bud Dupree back there. They've got good number ones in that linebacker core. And I think that if they can just get stops third down stops that's going to be the key for this team to go forward and win so again jb the ticket vegas scoreboard express talking about this nfl week one coming up september 8th 2022 going to be looking at rotation number 451 the buffalo bills Minus 135 of the money line coming all the way out to the West Coast. Rotation number 452, the Los Angeles Rams. Plus 115. Let's talk a little bit about those Buffalo Bills. Some back office controversy. You know I don't like the back office controversy, especially when it's about that type of stuff. You know, it's never good. They got rid of the guy. We're not going to get too much into it. But special teams, that was an issue that they had. Couldn't get the ball where they needed it on the punt. They had the punt guy. He didn't make it. Special teams couldn't make field goals last year. Buffalo Bills, 11 and a half wins. Seems a little bit scary to me, especially the week before. These guys also got blank. So, Ron, wrapping it up before we get out of here again. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the big board. Vegas Scoreboard Express again live this year. Monday night football season at the Sapphire here in Las Vegas. Shout out to my main man, George. Going to be linking up with you soon to get all that lined up. But the Buffalo Bills, another big win expected out of them. 11 and a half. Do you think they can get there, Ron? Go ahead. JB, I got them at 10 and a half. They're gonna, they've got a target on them this year. Yeah, Buffalo I'm, is no longer flying under the radar. Everybody knows about them. And when you talk about a quarterback situation, last year, Mitch Trubisky, he got bounced out of there. He's, of course, being backing up and playing for that starting position in Pittsburgh. But everybody knows about Josh Allen. Everybody knows about the opportunity for him to go downfield and to run the football. I don't think this team gets an easy way to nine wins. If you think they're going to do anything better than that, 
I wouldn't put my money on it. But the Buffalo Bills could be shockers. But you're talking about a team that has disappointed several times in the last few seasons in the playoffs with several opportunities to win. And they just could not get it done on the offensive side of the ball. And then the defensive side of the ball, not much better. And then Linwood, we'll talk about that Buffalo Bills defense. And then we get out of here again. Shout out my main man, Linwood, Hard Rock Hamilton. Follow him on Instagram at Hamilton. I know you're going to be doing that public speaking and just getting out there. Also going to be here in Vegas with VSX. But tell me a little bit about that defense, and then we'll get out of here, man. Do you think the Buffalo Bills got it this year? This is going to be another one of those disappointing seasons. Go ahead. Vaughn Miller is about the best. And that's what we're going to leave it at. Vaughn Miller is about the best. JB the ticket, Vegas scoreboard express. Any shout-outs before we get out of here, guys? Again, Ron, third down bets. Follow him on Instagram at RaiderHawk1. Go Raiders, baby. You already know what time it is. Let's get the money. You're listening to the boss of the big ball. Jay, the tech. Vegas Scoreboard Express. Football season, stay in the game with Fubo TV. Over a hundred live channels, including NFL Network, NBA TV, and FS1. Don't miss any of the action. Get seven days free on us at VegasScoreboardExpress.com. Don't get cabled. Get Fubo TV.